Hello, everyone. Thank you for your company this Thursday, November the 17th. Tonight, the once iconic home of law enforcers, the Gordon's Police Barracks, condemned as a health hazard. Also tonight, an orderly ending to a rough 2016 academic year for the University of Goroka and ensuring safety at sea, Morabe pioneers the small craft legislation. The future of more than 100 police officers and their families, also numbering in the hundreds, hang in the balance. Their homes within the Gordon's police barracks in the national capital have been condemned as health risks. The once iconic site of law enforcement, built more than 10 years before independence, the Gordon's police barracks has seen better days, the sad reality of years of neglect. Sheila Malkin reports. Security for major national and international events in the country is at stake after health authorities move to condemn the oldest and biggest police barracks in NCD. Workers from NCDC Health, accompanied by police boss Sylvester Callout, inspected the Gordon's police barracks yesterday, which houses more than 100 police officers and their families whose future now remains uncertain. It was found that all the three single living quarters are overcrowded, while the shower and toilet facilities are unfit for humans. Gordon's police barracks was built in the 1960s. It is by far the biggest police barracks in Papua New Guinea, housing all units including the Special Services Division. But overcrowding and lack of maintenance over the years has placed an enormous strain on facilities. Even the mess has now been turned into a sleeping quarter. This is the condition that 159 police officers and their families have had to live with for years. With government directives to increase police manpower, the problem is housing. But, uh, we respect uh, whatever decision that will be made by uh, the health inspectors because they are authorized under the law to uh, make such inspections and you know, give us their findings. Whatever the outcome, uh, we will take it on from there and we will take it up with the police management. <laughs> The toilet and shower facilities are so bad, they pose a major health risk. Children are highly vulnerable to diseases. Even the drains are filled with rubbish. And an health inspector says an outbreak of TB is imminent. For those of you watching, you can't tell but the smell is unbearable. Findings of the health inspection report will be made known in the coming weeks. But affected officers and their families say this is not a new issue. The last renovations were done in 1999. They fear they will be displaced, and this could affect security for upcoming major events, including next year's national elections and the APEC Leader Summit in 2018. Most um, operations most of them make work in seven countries. If I can look, look too low, this that's why I'm not beginning to be stupid. The situation where sometimes I'm not forced, I'm not going to use it wisely, but I'm not going to accept this, but I'm not going to try my best. When I'm not going to stop them, I'm not going to make them until I'm not going to make them effort. I'm not going to move them. I'm not going to be able to relocate them again or renovate them again. I'm not going to be able to stop the single parent. I'm not going to be able to stop the single parent. The affected families raise concerns on their application for the new police houses built at Bomana. What's the latest? Because you've been 
Kami oleh Departemen Oil Law dan kontraktor oleh Building Mall House. Pada Billy oleh Bringi Mall Police Mary Law Mall Provinces oleh Komandansi Mall Temporary for the FIFA Operation. But then, kami pula communicate one term Deputy Commissioner Administration. Kami pula find out, na find out one term company, na kami pula kan lulu pula mengwakili Mall Kenadi Arrangement Law di selatu. So. I may not be like talk about because I may not like to create my hopes at this point in time, but whatever I'll come back, I may not talk about how I come back. I may not talk about how I come back, but I may not talk about how I come back, but I may not ask him about this many houses. I know, sir. All right. Also, I may not talk about sir. All applications should be able to finish prior to this, but I may not talk about how I currently occupy the rooms here at the single quarters. This is not the first time for these barracks to be inspected by health authorities. We understand it will be condemned, but where the affected police officers and families will go to next remains uncertain. Sheila Malkin there. No doubt we will hear more about the old barracks. After the break, Morabe takes the lead in enforcing laws on the operations of small sea crafts. <laughs> 